to get these uh, protection. Okay. Um, a question maybe for you, Clive. This is from Daniel at Rockhampton, and this is about who's responsible for collecting injured or dead flying foxes or bats in public places, and what is the procedure for the public to do so if the authorities can't get there? Can you handle a dead bat in front of you? Look, the, we recommend that people don't on the basis of that, uh, as we've heard, that getting bitten or scratched uh, and injured bat that you might pick up, its tendencies can scratch or bite you. Um, that's uh, an that's inherently risky proposition. Dead uh, things in public places uh, are principally uh, local government and our officers will assist as well. Um, there's also um, a series of registered um, animal, uh, sort of like uh, the people that deal with uh, difficult animals like magpies or possums and things like that that exist in, in, in areas. And they, they are able to, to pick up animals as well. We just, it, it's not advisable to handle um, sick flying foxes at all. Um, you would call derm and they could get a carer because uh, flying foxes do carry a disease called lysivirus. Um, which uh, again is a is a is a rabies-like virus uh, and is is completely different from Hendra, but is fatal. So I think the message is, if you have a sick flying fox, um, certainly call um, Derm or call RSPCA, and they'll put, uh, they'll get in contact with a carer who is generally vaccinated against um, this virus, and that that flying fox can then be handled and and if it's if it can and um, and and nurse. Well, they're sort of the, the main questions that people have asked. 